Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode we're going to continue with the rear bumper. We did identify a little bit in the back here that we need to add just underneath the spoiler and then I also completely forgot about this area too so maybe what we'll do is we'll work on this section up here add in the little area that we need to. Um, we'll maybe think about how we're going to extract um, this whole section that runs up here and then after that we'll maybe think about potentially the spoiler um, as well. So let's jump in here real quick first. What I'm going to do is just to make this easier um, I'm just going to delete this edge. So that just means that we have the one face to come out here. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to do this on the world. I'm going to bring this all the way out here. I'm just going to smooth that off so it's nice and straight. Okay. Um, then what we could maybe do is I'm just going to grab each of these and I'm going to move these vertices here over to the, well not the center as such, but obviously I want to try and emulate that shape. So that's looking quite nice. Um, but maybe take these ones and I'm going to bring in my edge slide and we'll pull these up here. Maybe, maybe so they're, they're fairly nice and close like that. Let's get rid of this face. Um, we're going to want to pull it a little bit further than we think that we need to. And the reason we're going to do that is just because uh, we want to make sure that when this does smooth out and it ends up losing a little bit of this, that it's still going to look Okay, so we'll pull that out there. Um, we can hit three just now to kind of see how that's going to look. So we're kind of pulling up into that shape just there, which is looking quite good. Um, we are going to want to take this line here and finish this off. So let's maybe take that there. And let's maybe just go into that little bit down there. And that'll just help kind of shore up that edge line a little bit more for us. So that's not looking too bad. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to maybe, let's just drop in, um, actually maybe we won't do that. Let's maybe grab our insert edge loop tool because we do want this line here to be sharper as it runs down and up here too. But before we draw that in, I just want to make sure all of this is looking nice. So I'm just going to want to try and maintain the same kind of gap all the way across. This looks like it's drooping a little bit too low. Maybe that one too. And once we're happy with that, I'm going to grab my insert edge loop tool. It's going to end up stopping here because of what we have there. Um, also, let's maybe go ahead and grab my edge slide. I'm just going to take these in here. Um, it looks like I'm not going to want that there, so I don't know if you guys merge that off, but it looks like I forgot to do that. Let's maybe take these in. So again, we're just wanting this to be nice and smooth as we go along for each of those. And again, just this kind of like extra little detail that we add to the mesh here, and it's going to work wonders for us. So let's have a go then. I'm going to drop in a loop here. Okay, just as we thought, it's going to stop just there, which is fine. We're going to also want to go and take this and we'll drop a multi-cut here. Now, this is going to be a little bit awkward because I think what we probably actually want for this, let me just delete that, I think we might actually want this to run underneath here. So we're going to want to draw in a line like that. Because I think we're going to want this to run down and underneath. So let's just quickly merge those ones there and those ones there. Just going to take that in a little bit and then that will allow us now to to draw down here. So I'm going to select that and then we're going to come down in this direction and then we're going to go all the way down here and we'll hit enter and then we're going to merge these two together. Okay, so now that goes up, along, and underneath there. Okay, so we give that a smooth. That's looking a little bit weird. Let's just double check. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like I've got a little issue with my vertices. Let me just fix this real quick. Okay, so it looks like my mesh, I don't know about you guys, but my mesh isn't really liking that. So what I'm going to do, let me just bring in my lower bit here. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to re kind of topologize this bit. So I'm going to go and I'm going to grab over here. I'll bring this down here. I'll maybe do one more. And then I'm going to go and drop a line about halfway over here. So now we'll see, let me hit three. That's kind of fixed up that whole section. So I'm just thinking that maybe it was just an issue with how uh, that little triangle was in there and forcing that problem. So we've got a nice little defined edge as we go down there. So what I'm going to do is drop this in here and run that there. And then with this down here, I'm going to do the exact same. So I'm going to go mesh tools, insert edge loop. I'm going to drop one roughly in line there. And then we could also do the same here. So I'll just drop that there, just so it's nice and consistent. And what that should allow me to do as well is select all of these. I'm going to grab all of the edges and just, let me just remove my edge slide. Now I'm just going to pull those back a little bit there, just to get a bit more curvature going on. And we can hit three on all of those and we can see that's looking nice and neat now inside there for us, which is good. So that's looking nice. We've got that bit under there as well, which is also looking quite nice. Um, one thing we could maybe consider is, um, let's just see what our extra sections looking like. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work up here. Um, if we wanted to do some details on the wing, we're going to need to do a little bit of details on the underside of there too. What I think will maybe do is it might be nice to, oops, it might be nice to kind of add a little bit of extra geometry up this edge here. Um, I'm just going to see how this looks if we drop something down there. Okay, so it's not looking too bad. It's looking a little bit too, a little bit too much. Let's maybe see if I just pull that away a little bit. Maybe something like that. Yeah, maybe something, maybe a little bit further away. I'm just trying to add a little bit to that, not too much. Okay, so I think that's going to look okay. Um, we do need to, I'm just looking at my references here. So um, we do want to think about a couple of things. So in general, I'm quite happy with how that's kind of flowing up and around there. Um, there's a little bit of weirdness here as it comes and drops down. We could probably fix that by um, inserting an edge loop to kind of run around here. So we could probably fix that by doing something like that. Um, in there, uh, kind of. It doesn't look like it's actually doing too much, so let's maybe get rid of that. Okay. So I think I think we're going okay just there. I don't think that's looking too bad as it comes around underneath here. Um, the main issue by the looks of it is uh, this portion. What I do need to do though is grab this here and we're going to want to run that all the way down there. Like that. What we could try is we could try um, Maybe let's just grab these. I can maybe pull this under edge a little bit closer. Maybe something a little bit like that. And that's just going to help offset that extra little bit that's kind of popping out there. Okay, so for the most part here we're looking good. I think what we want to do next is we want to have a look now at 
going in here. So I'm going to hit Control E. Actually, before we do that, I'm maybe going to just delete that edge there. Because we are going to want to grab these here. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to take that in. Something like that. But I don't think we actually want this there. We can get rid of that. Because we are going to have something that goes inside here. So maybe what we could do with these then is we could snap this one down here. Target weld that down. We can maybe do something like that. Okay. And I think what we actually want to do with this is these inside here, we may as well grab those. And what we could do is we could extract them. Okay, so something a little bit like that, which is looking okay. We don't need these ones here. Because where the wing is, um, it's not actually part. Maybe actually, let's actually dial that back. Um, be and before the extrusion because what we actually might want to do with that is before we do anything maybe we'll keep that as is and let's maybe grab these here I'm going to hit Control E and I'm actually going to scale in a little bit not too much I'm just trying to get a sense here um, of the distance. Maybe something like that. Let's just delete these extra faces on the side here because we don't need those. And then what we could do with these vertices, I'm just going to hold down X. Just going to turn that off. I'm going to hold down X and we'll snap those into the center there. Like so. And what we could do is let's maybe take these before we do let's just actually I'm gonna put my edge slide back on I'm just gonna try and make this a bit more uniform like that that should be fine and then I'm gonna take these here I'm gonna hit control E and I will take that bit down. I think that will probably work better. And then whilst we've got that selected, we can hit um, extract on that. So I'm going to hit edit mesh and extract. Okay. And then with that, let's get rid of these edges, well, these spaces here, because we don't need those. Once my eyes just caught up with itself, we don't need those inside there. Okay. And then when we hit three now, we've got that little bit inside there which looks nice um, let's insert an edge loop and we'll go in the top here actually maybe rather than insert an edge loop let's maybe just grab the whole bit there and let's, uh, let's hit bevel on that maybe you do something like that. So we've got a nice beveled edge inside there. And then what we're going to probably want to do, which we can do right here, is let's just shore up that corner. So something like that. I think that's going to look okay. What we could do with this bit is let's maybe send to the pivot for this. And we're going to bring this up. like so. And I think what we'll eventually want to do is we'll maybe want to extend this. I'll maybe extend it up and over a little bit there. Because uh, this is going to extend from that next section. So maybe we'll just leave that as it is just now. Okay, so we're looking quite nice as we go up and underneath there. Um, we are looking a bit tighter on top now because of that extra kind of bevel that we have. Um, 
So maybe what we could do to kind of offset that is we do, I think, need another line to go across here. So let's maybe insert an edge loop. And I'm going to go something like that. But what we're going to want to do, I think, is I'm going to delete all that lower section. And I'm going to grab my multi cut and we're going to go all the way across here. Like so. And I'm going to target weld in here. And then do the same over there. Okay. So that's just going to help kind of cut through there a little bit for us and help support that um, a little bit more inside there. Maybe what we could do now that we've got that, maybe if we get rid of this one, get rid of that extra line inside there, it's just going to make that a little bit smoother. So that's not looking too bad. I'm going to bring it all back inside there, something like that. Okay. I think my one is way too, so I think I must have forgot to delete the extra vertex for those. Yep, so I think I'm going to want to grab this and maybe just take it in a bit. I'm going to just get rid of my edge slide. Let me pull that back in. So I think just something like that should be fine. It's a lot smaller. Okay, so that's looking okay. We do have an extra edge on this. So about where that is, that goes along here that we're going to want to kind of intersect a little bit so this whole section here we want to kind of like droop down a little bit more so we'll work on that um, when we come to that section but that's looking okay um, in order to get this bumper kind of finished off we do need to grab our insert edge loop again and I do want to drop a line across here and then down here we want to kind of do what the same as what we did at the front so if I have a look here and bring that back if we remove the smooth from that. You can see here that we've gone for like a triple line and then a single that runs up there. So let's maybe run down here and we'll do the same as part of this. So I'm going to go and grab my insert edge loop and I'm going to drop one just here and then the one either side like so. Um, I think we'll probably want to drop one down here as well. Something like that. And then I think for the most part, that bumper now must be complete. So I'm just having a look around here. I think for the most part, that's looking quite nice. Okay. So let's go and we should be able to duplicate special on there again. Let's actually apply our shiny paint to that too. Okay, so that's looking really nice. Um, what we'll probably want to do as well is, whilst we're here, let's maybe grab these edges. So I'm going to take all of these here. Okay, I think we've got one more just there. So I'm going to grab all of those. I'm going to hit Control E and pull this down and obviously pull that in as well. And just like we did at the front, I'm going to pull that down and just intersect it in there. Let's just check our back view. Okay, so it does look like we want to probably be a little bit more like that. So I don't know if maybe this here, maybe we want to grab these edges here and pull those out. Something like that. Looks like I did miss a bunch of those. So let me just go and reselect these again. So I just wanted to get every edge down here.
Okay, so I'm thinking we want to go something like that. Let's just check our side view as well. Okay, and let's maybe take these ones here. Maybe gonna take these back lower ones and maybe not pull them in so much. Just so we don't get like a weird kind of pinch when we come to adding the extra little edges. Maybe this one here could go a little bit more in that direction. Okay. So let's go and let's insert an edge loop around here. Grab that and hit delete. Okay. So now when we hit three, that should already look quite nice, which it does. We're going to have to do a quick separate on this, which means we will need to flip that again. But maybe let's just grab this one here. And I think what I'll do. Actually, maybe not. Maybe what we'll do is let's just leave that with the gap. When the light and the stuff's in there, we won't really see it, especially because all we'll see through there is black. So let's actually maybe just go for our gloss on there. Okay, so we can see that's already kind of sharing the correct pathway, so that's looking nice. So let's go real quick then and swap that one over, and then we'll do the same. This one should go over as well. Okay, so that's looking quite nice across there. We could maybe think about the spoiler. The spoiler does have a third brake light. Maybe what we could do is actually maybe do the exhaust real quick. Um, yeah, let's go and create a new pipe. I'm going to bring this in here. And think for this pipe I'm going to boost its subdivisions up super high maybe maybe up to 80 because I'm thinking that obviously the smoother this is the less we really have to um, worry about its subdivisions so let's just rotate this around here let's get this in position for our back view Take this down. Okay, so I want to be something like that. Let's see if we can adjust that thickness. 0 0.1. I think 0 0.1 looks like it should probably be okay. Okay, so that looks quite good. Let's get that side in. Let's bring this side here. So we are going to add some rotation to this. Um, let's maybe just do one at a time. So I'm going to rotate that around here to kind of match. And then I'm just going to rotate these ones as well to match. Okay, so that's looking quite good. Um, the exhaust on this car it has like a cool effect to it. So let's grab this. I'm going to just center the pivot. I wonder if we can see that on here. Okay, so we kind of can. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that. We're going to bring that in here. I think it's about there. Okay, and I'll maybe just pull it forward a little bit here. Okay, um, I'm going to select every single face as part of this. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to pull in on the blue here, something like that. 
and then I'm going to scale that in on the green until it's maybe about there. So I've got like a nice tapered effect on there. Okay, so that looks quite good. Um, I'm going to maybe double click and we're going to bevel this. I'm going to maybe go 0 0.05 or maybe add two seconds. Actually, before we bevel that, I'm going to add another. I'm going to insert edge loop here. I'm going to grab my scale tool. I'm going to scale that down just so that it curves a little bit better. So I'm going to grab, before I grab that, actually, let's hit bevel on this too. Let's reduce that fraction down. Just so that we've got like a nice little curve into that instead. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this one. I'm not going to bridge. I'm going to bevel that too. But this time I'm going to go much closer. Maybe add an extra segment in there as well. Just to kind of give some definition that line as it runs around and then we've got a little bit of curvature going into it which is good. I'm going to maybe grab these edges here. I'm going to pull them forward a little bit. Maybe just scale them in a little bit more just to get a little bit more curvature into them. Okay, so looks nice. And uh, we do have one, two, three, we have a bunch of sections that come in from here. Let me just try and get a better angle. Okay, I think it's eight. So let's maybe grab faces here. I'm just going to count this in. So we're going to go um, every maybe every 10. So I'm just going to pause and quickly select those. Okay, so I've run around and selected all those eight. So I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to pull these out on the blue here, just so that they intersect. And then once those have intersected, I think what we'll do is on the world, I'm going to pull these forward. And I'm going to pull them um, a bit further forward. I'm going to pull them so that I'm looking at this and I'm happy with their kind of placement. Now, once I've done that, we can go and take the whole thing, just pull it backwards a little bit inside there. Okay, so I think that's looking quite nice. Um, one thing in here is that looks a lot thinner on the examples there. So I'm going to go grab all of those interior bits there. I'm going to go to bevel those as well. So edit mesh here, I'm going to hit bevel and add in a couple of segments there. I'm going to do the same with the outer portion here. So I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to bevel those. Maybe something like that. So I'm just going for a one and then two segments in there. I think that looks quite nice. Okay, that's looking good. And then when we're happy with that, what we can do is we can just swap that over to the other side. So I'm just going to um, hit mesh. I'm going to combine the two together. And then uh, let's maybe, uh, we'll keep them separate, so let's separate them, and then we can duplicate special. There and there. And it looks like for the most part these are, you can see some that's kind of darker, but what we'll do is I'll maybe make a brand new one for this. Let's call this exhaust. And we can apply that down here. Okay, 
So that's looking quite nice then sat inside there. And then what we would end up doing is maybe just pulling those in a little bit more just so that they don't stop so soon. That's looking quite nice. Maybe I'll darken those up a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, I think we've done okay for this episode here. Um, we got that bumper finished off quite nicely. We've got a section in there for the and the spoiler is lower as well. I think in the next episode what we could do then, we do have another body line that runs all the way down here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll extract all the individual panels um, and then just continue working through the smooths for some of those. But we're looking quite good so far. So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you in the next one.